Casey Mike D back again, and today is a hot sauce review. And today's hot sauce review comes from Hellfire. This one I've been really scared of trying. Um, this one and Hell, uh, the Halloween Hell, with the two I received that I was so scared to try. Uh, just because of the videos I've seen, the other reviews I've seen that said that this is a hot one. And this one is evil bastard. Look at that label. That is a freaking awesome label. Such a cool label, guys. Like, got an evil clown on there. Very scary looking. And inside here, it says, originally released as a limited edition reserve in 2012. This sauce was so well received by reviewers and consumers alike that it is now part of our lineup of killer chili head uh, hot sauces. Uh, extreme heat with lots and lots of flavor. Enjoy. Now, I was going through the ingredients and it does sound pretty wickedly hot. Um, in the ingredients here, we have hot chili pepper blend, which is the Jalokia pepper, um, which is ghost pepper, um, scorpion peppers, and red seven pot peppers. Um, we have water, apple cider vinegar, which I love. I love apple cider vinegar in a hot sauce. And it's like... Any kind of hot sauce that has the apple cider vinegar kind of gives it like a, a sweet flavor. Ugh, yum. Distilled vinegar, garlic, cinnamon whiskey. That's very interesting. Do you got fireball whiskey in here, Merle? Diana? You guys trying to get me drunk of hot sauce? Ugh, cool. <laughs> um, Sun-dried tomatoes. Smoked ghost chili powder. Red Thai curry powder, black pepper, and cumin. Ooh, sounds very interesting. Hmm. Kind of weird that it doesn't have any Reaper in it. Huh, yeah, just has uh, Jaloki peppers and scorpion peppers, uh, seven pot peppers. Hmm, that's weird. I know a lot of uh, Hellfire hot sauces do have the uh, the Carolina Reaper, and the Halloween Hell 2016, I guess, has the Louisiana Creeper pepper, which is supposed to be the next hottest pepper. I don't know. We'll see. So we're gonna open this up, get the aroma, and then get the flavor. One thing about Hellfire is I I love their labels. Their labels are just fantastic. Probably the best labels in the industry. But you know what they say, it's not about what's outside, it's about what's inside. So, we'll get this aroma. Oh shoot, we got a little bit of a luggage. A little bit of blockage. That's fine, that happens. So, I do have a Q-tip here that I can... One thing I do like about Hellfire hot sauces is that they are a very nice thick sauce. Yeah, we got a little bit of blockage here. Which is fine. It happens. Ooh. Straight up. Getting that aroma of the sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, sun-dried tomatoes aroma is just wonderful. Second here, guys. Got a little, there we go. Sun-dried tomatoes, garlic. Definitely smell the, the peppers in there, the, the jalokia, the, uh, the red seven pot and the uh, scorpion peppers. 
Mm. You get that cumin too. That cumin kind of gives a sauce and like a almost like a taco uh, sauce uh, aroma. Mm. That smells very, very good. It smells very savory. It smells kind of sweet. Mm. It smells hot too. So not gonna do a whole tablespoon. You don't need to for reviews. A lot of people say that you should do a full spoon. You don't need to. No, it's not necessary. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you go. Nice red color. Kind of a reddish, really, really, really dark red uh, color to it. Oh, that smells very, very savory. Very, uh, really smell that cumin and uh, some dried tomatoes and the garlic and the peppers. Oh, awesome aroma. So here we go, skill on zero to 10 for flavor and heat as always. Here we go. Wow. I'm going back for more. Hoo hoo hoo! What sneaks up on ya? At first it was nice and sweet and savory, but then all of a sudden, pow! We get that that heat. So here's a little more. Mm hmm. You get the garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, that cumin. Everything is just so blended it well together. Get that little bit of. Uh, a sweetness from the apple cider vinegar, um, a little, a little tiny sharpness from the distilled vinegar. No, it's not too vinegary. Works out awesome in this one. Wow. Heat is up there. It's quite up there, but it's not into something insane. It's not as hot as I expected it. Um, I do think. The Halloween Hell was hotter than this one. Whew. It is giving me the pepper chills, though. Whew. Every time I have a hot sauce that has that's really high concentrate for peppers, I get pepper chills right up my back. Chills. Right up the spine. I don't know if it, does it happen to anybody else. Get a little chill right up the spine. It always happens to me. Heat is really good on this one. I like the heat in this one. Flavor on this one is freaking amazing, guys. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, definitely taste the sun-dried tomatoes, the garlic, the cumin, the peppers, the distilled vinegar, the apple cider vinegar. Um, everything goes really good or blends well with this one. All the ingredients. It's not, you know, some hot sauces are kind of, one sided of one vinegar or one, yeah, one, uh, one vinegar where it's just too much. This is a perfect amount. Everything, everything in here is just blended so well together. Uh, wow. Um, this is hard. This is really hard. Uh, heat. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten for heat. Not crazy hot. It is pretty hot. But like I said, Halloween uh, 2015, I thought it was much hotter than this. Flavor, though, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Was it my favorite Hellfire sauce? No. My favorite was still uh, the Chili Masters Reserve. But I would have to say, this is a close tie with Fear This, which is another one of my favorite hot sauces from Hellfire. So yeah, I would say this is a tie with Fear This. Awesome flavor on this one, guys. Merle, Diana, you guys ace this one. Um, keep it up with this hot sauce. Don't change a thing. <clears throat> Ooh, pepper burps. Whew. Great flavor, great uh, heat. Definitely uh, check out Hellfire's website. Link will be in the description below where you can find this. Definitely go out and grab yourself some of this. Awesome, awesome stuff. Awesome prop, man. Awesome hot sauce. Definitely get yourself a 
bottle of Evil Bastard. Chug out their other stuff, their other hot sauces are just absolutely amazing. I have never been disappointed from a hot sauce from Hellfire, ever. Artwork is awesome, flavor is awesome. Both Merle and Diana are both awesome people. Probably the best, uh, actually I don't know, the best hot sauce company I've ever dealt with. Great stuff guys. Check out the link below. I'm dripping a little bit of dripping a little bit on the nose. Sweating like crazy though. Whew, it lingers. That heat really lingers for a long time. Oh. It it's peaked, but it's it's not like it's going down right now. It's just <clears throat> um all over tongue burn. <coughs> a little bit in the throat, not much, but mostly tongue. My lips are kind of burning too, um, but I think I got a little bit on my lips. But oh, great flavor! Check out their site. Get some, get some other sauces. You know, they have shirts, hats. No, I think they have hats. Do they have hats? No, I don't think. I can't remember if they have hats. I could be wrong. They have posters. I know that. Got one behind me. Um, great company. Check them out. If you haven't tried anything from Hellfire, definitely buy yourself something from them because you won't be disappointed. There's something for everybody on that uh, hot sauce uh, site. The company. Really? Have a trouble speaking. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. Hopefully, if you liked it, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, like always, this is Crazy Mike D signing off. Take it easy and keep on saucing, guys.